California right now, the clock not a big factor. Remember, you only need a field goal. To Vecchio, who missed on the last drive to put him ahead, may get another chance. They'll keep it on the ground. Short gain. Javid Best wrapped up right away. Now the offense has a an advantage here as Javid Best gets up a bit gingerly, but the offense has a bit of an advantage in. They know they're in four down territory every time the chains move. Best is hobbling a little bit right now. He can't get out. This one complete though. Over the middle, it's Anthony Miller who turns back to make the catch. His third. And Miller has done a lot of nice work getting down the seam, getting in the middle, the heart of the defense in the second half. How about the touch that Riley puts on the ball and the adjustment by Miller? Gain of 22. And Riley throws it away. So two minutes, 38 seconds as we send it quickly back to Matt Weiner. So no upset there, but we've got one brewing here in Tempe. Second and 10 for Cal on what could be the final drive of the game. Quick throw, under throw. Did he make the catch? Yeah, Varan Tucker doing a nice job coming back for that one. And I think they're going to give him close to first down yardage. This was not a good ball by Kevin Riley. A nice job by the offensive line, especially on Dexter Davis. The talented defensive end pass rusher uh, to keep things clean for Riley and Riley missed through that ball. He threw it low and Tucker may have just saved him on the catch. Terrific catch. Be interesting to see if they want to take a couple extra looks. Remember every play is reviewed upstairs in college football and what a play by Tucker. Shoestring grab. First down at the 45. They come with the blitz going up top. Far sideline incomplete. Marvin Jones, and there is a flag. Contact, and the flag comes in. Devron Carr on the coverage. Well, this was another good throw, and if you throw a nice enough ball here, you put the pressure on the defensive back. Carr's got that left hand out. And, and let's see if we can see it from another angle. But it goes against Cal, David. That, that is that is an interesting call. Let's take a look at the top of the route because it looked like Devron Carr is playing him with the left arm there. He got the face mask though. He's got a hold of it. Wow, and I think that was inadvertent, but it doesn't matter whether it's inadvertent. You know, Devron Carr initially could have been called on that play. Marvin Jones, you know, some hand play on the outside, and he had inadvertently got the face mask. What a tough break. You almost okay. never see that called on the offense, and it is here. Correct call. Riley throws on the run, wide open at the 40, complete, brought down, maybe another first down inside the 35 to Marvin Jones, the man who was just called for the penalty. How about the strength of Marvin Jones? You know, Riley had a receiver open down the field. He picked Jones, and Jones, great work to pull two defenders ahead for the first down. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Complete. Another first down inside the 20. Alex Lagerman with the catch. Now you want to work clock, and Kevin Riley has come of age on this drive. This is something that we haven't seen from Kevin Riley in a long time. He has his team in position to win the game. You got to make sure you don't turn the ball over here. You're in position for a shortish field goal. I think Jeff Tedford's going to shut things down a little here. Run the football. Remember, Arizona State only has one timeout. You want to be in position to kick the field goal and run into the locker room. Tavecchio just missed from 39 yards. Over the middle, complete inside the 10. Close to another first down. The Rand Tucker with another catch. Well, I I'll tell you what. That shows unbelievable confidence in Kevin Riley and Jeff Tedford calling a pass play there. A lot of bad things can happen, especially throwing the ball to the middle of the field. That's an aggressive play. I don't think you'll see another pass, at least on the next couple plays here, but, but Jeff Tedford now has to concentrate on the clock as well as taking the lead. Impressive drive so far for Cal. Shane Vereen out of the Wildcat, looking for a hole, fights his way to the five. And when I say Jeff Tedford has to concentrate on the clock, he doesn't want to leave time on the clock for Arizona State. That's what he's thinking right now. 
And he's in position to do that because Arizona State only has one timeout. Right now, you've got two plays. You've got second down and third down. So Cal can effectively go to a knee here if they have the confidence that Tavecchio is going to hit this and take the clock all the way down to three or four seconds eventually. Would you do that? I would. I would not risk turnover here. Wildcat again. Vereen's going to throw it to the end zone. Jump ball. Incomplete. What a dangerous play. Perfect had a chance. I've seen it all. Wow. I have seen it all in college football. First of all, you're going to risk a fumble on a direct snap to a guy that takes snaps maybe one or two times during a game. And then you're going to throw the ball up for grabs with one of the great athletes in college football, Vontez Perfect. A great shot to pick the ball off. Ugh. And then you've got Terrell Carr with a shot at it for Arizona State. It's third down, and they will now take a knee to set up a field goal try after almost giving it away. Well, and what you did there, too, is you left time on the clock for Arizona State. If you run the ball on the second down play, you go to a knee, there's no chance for Arizona State to get a big return on a kickoff. You know, they, they won a couple weeks ago against Washington on a Hail Mary from the 50-yard line. And you leave time on the clock now for Arizona State. You risk a turnover. Wow. So it comes down to this play with 24 seconds left. And Giorgio Tavecchio is at an up and down day so far. Well, I know you'd like to score a touchdown, and I know you'd like to go up by seven points with a two point conversion, but you have to have confidence that Tavecchio is going to hit this. He's had his ups and downs in the game. Hooked it right on a couple of occasions. Missed from 34 yards, from 39, but he's also hit from 25 yards and 51. This from 24 yards. Got it. And Cal leads again. 21 seconds left in the game. Arizona State will have a chance, but another look at the field goal by Tavecchio. And the Sun Devils selling out. And they almost got there. Tavecchio obviously excited that he was able to convert, especially off the missed 39 yarder, but this game is not over. And I've seen a lot stranger things happen with about 20 seconds left. 21 to be exact.